Okay, here we have it. This is the Chicago Electric Power Tool Company's 100 amp battery load and charge system tester. I picked this up at Harbor Freight. It was uh, $22.99. And I just checked their website recently, and it's the same amount of money. And let's just jump right into it and take a look at what we have. The item number is 90636. got our book here too so there it is um, it has two quite large battery um, charging clamps and like I said um, they're not really a battery charging clamp but rather just a testing clamp but they're heavy duty and uh, there's the scale there So this works on 6 as well as 12 volt systems. There is a button here that will put a load onto a heating element that's inside here. And perhaps once we hook it up to the battery you'll be able to see it. Um, this heating element is what the load is inside this protective case. It serves three functions really. The first thing is if you clip this on a battery it will check just your standing voltage just sitting there. And then if you hold this button down it puts the load on it and it checks to see if it can uh, withstand the, the load. And then you can also hook this up to your car and then start it and see if the charger is putting out enough power. Um, the alternator rather. So okay, let's um, let's get to a battery and uh, check the functions out on this. Okay, this battery is a battery that was pulled out of um, our family's car that recently went bad in the cold weather. And the reason why I knew it was the battery is because of the charging tester itself. Um, if you've ever gone out and bought a battery and then found out that it wasn't the battery, you can really appreciate this, this tester. So I'll show you how it works real quick. Alright, let's give this battery a test. Keep in mind that this battery was pulled out of a vehicle because it failed to hold a charge. So the battery, in my opinion, is not any good. So you would hook this up just like you would expect, the negative and the positive cables. So I am going to hook up the positive first over here to the plus side. And this is the negative over here. Okay, you can you can see on this meter hopefully it's right around 12 volts here. So at first inspection this battery seems fine and this is where this um, tool really comes in handy when you're using the load tester. What you're to do is hold this button down here, it'll light this uh, heating element inside here and put a load on it and then you're to check the load in this area down here. Um, so let's do that now and you're supposed to hold it for 10 seconds so let's watch this you can see it went right down to nothing try it again I can smell the heating element inside. Um, it smells like it's burning a little bit because this is a new tester. But it's not actually 
hot enough to make it glow in, inside these little vents. So this battery is definitely not any good. When you let go of this, it jumps right back up to 12 volt. But uh, yeah, when you put this battery under any kind of load, it fails miserably. Okay, so let's put this on a battery that is good. Okay, <laughs> we are outside and we do have snow on the ground. It's very cold out here today. I'm here at my truck that hasn't been moved since uh, since yesterday. We ended up with a bunch of snow overnight. So this battery that I have in this truck has recently been replaced. It's an 800 cold cranking amp battery. It's just a regular automotive battery. Um, so let me set the tripod down and do this test on this battery. All right, we're gonna try this again. I dropped the camera in the snow bank and I just spent the last 15 minutes cleaning the water out of the lens. So, um, got my meter here. And this is a fairly new battery. It's only a, probably a couple months old. Um, always start with the positive. The positive on first. And then put your negative on. So hopefully you can see that uh, that needle is right about 12 volts. Now let's go ahead and put the uh, the load on it. You're supposed to hold this for about 10 seconds, and inside this 10 seconds, it's holding at 10, which means on the scale it's just above weak and you can see probably that little smoke coming out of that load that's the uh, snow going in there so this battery is good it says it's weak but it's good and um, the reason why is this truck's been sitting out here all day and not being started so let's go ahead and start the truck up and uh, we'll check the uh, alternator and the uh, check for the alternator is this scale, the charging system. And if it's over here in the 14 volt range, then it's considered okay. Um, so we'll do that now. Let me go ahead and start this up. truck is now running and hopefully you can see that this is now over 14 volts about 14 and a half so this charging system is fine I'm going to go ahead and let the truck run for a while and come back and check this battery again. Alright, this truck has been running probably about 10 minutes. I just wanted to see if the battery level is going to come up under load once I shut the truck off after giving it a little juice. I was a little surprised to see that it was on weak with the load after sitting all night, but I guess that's what happens to batteries in the cold, so let's go ahead and shut this truck off. Alright, let's see. Okay, so now it's showing about 12 and a half volts, and that's about what I would expect a resting battery to be. 
let's go ahead and turn this off for about 10 seconds here so it is coming up um, it's still about uh, just over 10 the heating elements are coming on up at top here so yeah this charging system is working it's just very very cold out here you can see that smoking so um, I've got one other set of batteries I want to check this on we'll go check uh, my solar batteries coming up next so yeah um, I just came back inside to check the solar batteries I figured I'd sit by the fire here for a second and get warmed up. I was a little surprised to see that a two month old battery um, out in the cold is weak at best. So I checked on the um, internet here and it's only about nine degrees so that must explain it. Okay so I'm gonna get warmed up here by the fire in a minute and uh, We'll check my solar batteries and see how they fare. Coming up next, right, Shadow? Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. There you go. So there it is, guys. The Harbor Freight 100 amp 6 and 12 volt battery load tester and charging system tester. Harbor Freight, $22.99 as of this taping. Okay, I realize it's dark over here. You're looking inside my battery box of my um, solar panel system for my battery backups. And these are 6 volt batteries and this tester also does 6 volts. But uh, I'm going to measure them together, these two, so it should equal 12 volts. So let's give that a try. And then we're going to put a load on it after that. Remember, positive on first. Okay. So I'm I'm curious myself what this is going to do when I put this load on here. I would imagine that these batteries would perform a lot better than the ones in my truck because they're inside this box and this box is a lot warmer. Here we go. Oh yeah. So uh, about ten and a quarter. And to be honest with you, that's not a whole lot more than my truck. Oh, my battery cap just popped here. Anyway, um, seems to be a very good test. But I'm wondering if this scale isn't off, to be honest with you. It's, um, it's reading about uh, ten and a half. Let me check some readings on this. I'll be back. Okay, these little tests that I've been doing with this meter are surprising. I'm finding inaccuracies in this meter. Um, number one, my truck was um, tried first. You've seen that. And that battery is only two months old. This solar system is well documented in the gauges. And I can tell you that these deep cell batteries are only about a year old. And uh, there's my gauge right there, 1265. And everything is shunted, so I know this is an accurate system. When this thing is reading, um, when you put a load on this thing, it's reading um, about 10 and a quarter to 10 and a half, which is a weak zone on this thing and you know I, I've gone through three batteries now and um, new batteries and I expected them to be in the green so I can't say that this is an accurate scale in fact I think it's not 
an accurate scale. So with that being said, let's go out with some final thoughts. Okay guys, well I gotta tell you that this review and usage guide of the 100 amp battery load and charger test system by Chicago Tool turned out a little twist in the turn. I really don't think the meter is accurate at all. Um, I tried it on three different batteries and two of the batteries were known to be good and this meter um, still read it as being weak. Now I read back through the manual and um, it's supposed to be in the green so you know unless someone can prove me wrong this meter is not accurate. I think that the meter is fine to um, check for general loads and to check your voltage but as far as an accurate amps meter or uh, not even an amps meter but just a uh, an accurate scale I think the scales off so okay guys thanks for joining me if you have any comments about this one be sure you leave them below and I'll try to answer them have a good one thanks for watching hey guys this is Steve thanks for watching hey don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment see ya